Hello, everybody. Welcome along to the grand final of this week's House of Games. Four famous faces at the end of today. One of them is walking away with this trophy right here. Our players this week, and what a week it's been, are Joanne McNally, <laughs> Bill Turnbull, Michelle Collins, and Reginald D. Hunter. Well, 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 what a finish yesterday, Bill. First three days. Yeah. You won. Yesterday, very close all the way through between yeah. everyone. Then we had a very, very close answer smash round. Yeah. I revealed the scores at the end. I had no idea who'd won. It was a three-way tie. Michelle, <laughs> Bill and Joanne. So one question to decide it all, to decide our champion. Bill, buzzed in, got it wrong. Blew it. <laughs> Blew it. Michelle, buzzed in, buzzed in got, it got it wrong. Default. Joanne McNally, yeah. what a way, a beautiful way to win. But Stoic, you to... silent. But you had to be in the head-to-head -to, -head to win it. That's the, that's the point. So three wins for Bill, a win for Joanne. Let's take a look at our weekly leaderboard, see how it stands. Uh, looking good for Bill Turnbull, but it is double points Friday. Eight for a win, six for second, four for third, and so on. But a four-point lead for Bill. Looking good for you. Michelle, I want you to win a day. <laughs> Okay. Don't say that. That's Don't what I would like. You, That's what... No, listen, if it doesn't I'll happen, I'll try. it I doesn't know. happen. But you can want for things, can't you? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, that would be lovely. Should we take a look at today's prizes? And I've had a nice time. Exactly, and we've loved having you here as well. Thank you. And you could be walking away with one of these. <gasps> there is the deck chair, the sparkling wine, the plant pot, the gentleman's cologne, and the espadrilles. <laughs> What are you? What? I know. Who what does chooses this gentleman's these? Gentleman's cologne uh, smell like. Oh, you do you don't want not. It. Is it want a toilet? Is it basically to a toilet spray kind of thing, really? I would say if there's such a thing as a latrine spray <laughs> rather than a toilet spray, it would probably be that. <laughs> May I ask, what is the plant? Uh, the plant, Bill. I have it no idea. Plastic, I think Bill. it's just dressing. Uh, it's yeah. the it's the pot you're winning. Oh, the pot. Yeah, Reginald D. Hunter. Yes, sir. Fourth place. Yep. I don't think you mind. I don't like losing and everything. But I mean, you know, I still got a chance to win that cologne right now. Yeah, oh, you know what, Rich? <laughs> if there's a man born on this world today who would suit that cologne, I mean, if I go out with, with that cologne, and people would be like, "Smell like somebody I'm familiar with, some Richard, somebody." That's what I smell yeah, you got. Yeah, exactly. I would oh, love to smell like you. What man. an unstoppable combination! Your body and my smell. Yeah. Oh my goodness! It's like a freight train out yeah. of control. Look you out, can't stop us. <laughs> look you, you out, can't stop us. You look out, glass containers. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, Reg, very, very best of luck. Thank Michelle, you, sir. very best of luck. Love to see you, you win. Bill, looking good. Joanne, you can catch him. Shall we play our final day on yeah. House of Games? Yeah. Our first round today is <laughs> Mouth of Games. Now we've taken the word House of Games. We changed the letter to make a new show, Mouse of Games. And that's what we're going to do now. We've taken some 80s films, we've changed the titles by one letter, OK? And this is the bizarre new synopsis of this film we've created. Joanne, we start with you, OK? So here's a synopsis of a film. It's essentially an 80s film, but we've changed one letter. In this Tom Hanks classic, a teenage boy wakes up to find his wish to become a Gloucester old spot has come true. Pig, and you've changed it to pig. Pig? Is pig the film we're looking yeah. for? It is. Well done. It is pig. Bill, here's one for you. Marty McFly travels to early 18th century Weimar and returns with the court organist, 1985. Oh, so the original film was Back to the Future. And this is? Bach. To the future. Bach to the future. Oh, well very done, good. Bill. Nice played. Bach to the future. Well played. Uh, Michelle, an 80s film for you. Okay. We've changed the letter and we have this new synopsis. Cher plays a Newcastle United fan who finds herself falling in love with her fiance's brother, played by Nicolas Cage. 1987. Oh, no. Sorry, no. Should we time you up? You know the film? Uh, anyone fancy that? Bill? It's something to do with Moon and Toon. I'm just trying to remember the name of the film. Oh, I know. I'm, just, I'm, 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 I'm answering here. Sorry. I'm answering well, here. So your answer is? Toonlight. <laughs> it's incorrect, I'm afraid. It's unlucky, Bill. Uh, Joanne. Moonlight. No. Wow. It is Moonshine, not... moonshine. Oh, finally. Oh. No. No. Uh, uh, Reg. Uh, moonshine. 
It's not. It's not. This. So the film is, is Moonstruck. M Moonstruck. Moonstruck. It's a wonderful film. But she's a Newcastle United fan. Toonstruck. They're known as the Toon. Oh, are Toonstruck they? was oh, the answer we were oh. looking for. Reg, a film for you now, sir. We've changed one letter, but what is this new film? Robert De Niro squares up to his greatest foe, a ground nesting bird who lives by the sea from 1980. Raging Girl. Raging Girl. Well played, Reg. Absolutely right. Okay. Raging Bull becomes a Raging Girl. Um, we're back to you, Joanne. This time, we've changed one letter in, in some boy bands. Okay. okay. So we've got a new description of the band. We've changed one letter in a boy band. Here's your first one. This Irish quartet shot to stardom in the late 90s with their soaring ballads about grating the skin of citrus fruits. Zest Life. Zest Life? Zest Life. Oh. Is the right answer, Joanne. Well done. West Life becomes Zest Life. Nicely done. Bill, here's one for you. This group was formed as a five piece, but after one member went solo, Gary, Howard, Mark, and Jason were left to clear up leaves in the garden. So take that becomes rake that. Take that becomes well rake done. that. Well done, Bill. Absolutely right. Michelle, Michelle, a boy band for you. We changed one letter of their name to make this new description. TV personality and actor Duncan James rose to fame as a member of this naughty's pop group known for performing up chimneys. Well, it's blue. So is it flu? Change the B to F and make flu. flu. Well done. Absolutely right. Well done. Oh my God, good there you go. Oh Nicely God. done, Michelle. Oh Blue becomes flu. And Reg, final question in this round, a boy band for you. We oh, goody. Oh, you happy, aren't you? <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg's band are as committed as any other to making hits like Hangin' Tough, but they won't do overtime. <laughs> um, no, I don't know the band, man. No, nope. OK, we'll time you out. Anyone fancy it? You know the band? So. Yes, Bill. And Could it be the Slack Street Boys? Is it the Slack Street Boys? Very good, yes. Yeah. incorrect. Uh oh. I thought it was a different band. I thought it was New Kids I on the Block. Yeah, I think it was as well. Yeah. So, so if you're not doing overtime, what do you want? <sighs> yes, that's Joanne. No kids working. No. Nope. <laughs> just turned in one letter. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's New Kids on the Clock. Yeah. Is so it? you're on the no. clock and so you're not doing overtime, yeah. is that right? Oh, yeah. It is. New Kids right. on the Clock. Let's take a look at the scores. First round down in the final of this week's House of Games. And here's how we're looking. Everybody off the mark. That's how we like it. Um, Michelle and Red, you have one point each. Bill and Joanne, two points each. Very nicely done. <laughs> Our next round is... <laughs> Password, one, two, three, a pairs game. The player in fourth gets to choose their partner. Uh, Michelle and Reg are both tied in third at the moment. Reg, who would you like to play with? OK, Bill. All right. Yeah? All right, I'll see if I can put a hole in your success. <laughs> OK, lovely. So, <laughs> no, no, Michelle... I'm, I'm, help, I'm, help, I'm help you win. Yeah, yeah, yeah lovely. we win so, together. Yeah. So, Joanne and Rich, if you all swap places, please. Yes. Why not? Why not indeed, Reg? It's lovely to have you here. Reg and Bill are a team for the first time. Michelle and Joanne are a team for the first all time. Right. That's nice. Now, in password one, two, three, we're going to try and find the internet passwords of various celebrities. Here are the celebrities who we're looking to hack. Bono, Marcus Rashford, Michelle Obama and Bonnie Langford. Bill and Reg, which of those do you know the most about as a pair? I'm Michelle Obama. OK. Yeah, we've got I mean, Michelle Obama. OK, let's see, uh, let's see what I know about Michelle so Obama. So, we've got to find Michelle Obama's internet password. We do that by looking at her two password hints. OK, if you put these two together, you will get her internet password. It's not her real internet password. Uh, <laughs> so, don't try this at home. <laughs> so, Michelle Obama's two password hints are... What is the one-word title of your memoir that was published in 2018? And in 1988, you graduated with a law degree from which Ivy League university? If you put those together, you get a password. You will get three attempts to get the password. I think she graduated from Harvard. Her, her memoir... Uh... Shall I guess? I'm going to go blessed. Mm -mm. So, should we say blessed Harvard? President. Your first guest? <laughs> so your uh, first guess is blessed Harvard. Let's take a look. Is that Michelle Obama's password? It is not. OK. You have one part right. Mm. So we've got Harvard right. Let's assume so, I think, yeah. Do you think it's loving? No, not loving. It's 
Beco becoming? Is it becoming? Is it becoming? Is it becoming? I think it's something like that. It's it it becoming. Me. Interesting. Yeah. Be becoming Harvard, should we go with that? Yeah, let's go with it. Becoming well, Harvard. You both liked it at the same time. Um, let's take a look. Becoming Harvard. Is that Michelle Obama's password? It is Ooh. becoming Harvard. <laughs> wow. That is a point to both of you. Very well done. Becoming and Harvard. Michelle and Joanne, yeah. whose password would you like to crack? Gosh, I don't know. Bonnie Langford. I could only go for Bono. I know one album that, Bonnie, that they've done. If you, think you, if you think you can get Bonnie, go for Bonnie. Let's you're go, gonna, Bonnie. You're going to have to do two of them anyway. Uh, so you're going to go Bonnie okay. Langford? Bonnie Langford. So Bonnie Langford's password is a combination of these two hints. What type of woodland creature were you disguised as on the 2021 series of The Masked Dancer? And how old were you when you won Opportunity Knocks as a child in 1971? Woodland creature, so it could be a... Squirrel. A rabbit. A rabbit. Squirrel ten. <laughs> squirrel. Maybe a squirrel. And what age do you think she was as a child? Oh, she was really young. She like, so that's... I think she was like 10. Yeah, so you fancy maybe Squirrel 10 as a first yeah, guess? Yeah, let's try. Yeah, let's take a look. Here's Bonnie Langford's password, Squirrel 10. No. It's not. But you have one part correct. So I think maybe it's 10. It's squir do you? Let's, te let's we should not be test together. It <laughs> test it out. Test let's it out do this Rabbit 10 and see what happens. OK, Rabbit 10 is that Bonnie Langford's password. Oh, it's I think she was 12. Interesting. You've got neither part correct, which means... It was the squirrel. Squirrel must be right. Yeah. How squirrel, did we stumble on that? Was, I think it. she was 12. Yeah, interesting. Squirrel 12. Go for squirrel 12. Yeah? This will be so beautifully worked out if it's correct. <laughs> Is it squirrel 12? Is that Bonnie Langford's password? Oh, no. It's not. Let's take a look at what it was. Squirrel 6. six. What? Oh! Six? Squirrel, six. Well done Babies. for getting squirrel. But blimey. Oh, that's six scary. Years old. Six years old. Very well done if you got close to that at home. Bill, Reg, who would you like to go for now? Bono or Marcus Rashford? We'll go Bono. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're going Bono? Yeah, we're going yeah, okay. Bono, baby. We'll go Bono. So, Bono's two hints for his password are... Beginning with P, what's your real first name? And in which year did you two first top the UK chart with the album War? OK, so it's Paul. Yeah. Uh, you, War, was that the first album? War, was that the first album? I think it was. So that's late 80s, isn't it? Well, 84. Paul, 1984, you Paul happy 1984? with that? Paul, 84, yeah. First guess? OK. OK, let's take a look. Uh, Paul, 1984, is that Bono's password? It is no. not, but you do have one part correct. OK, so it's Paul. Is he, is, 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 is he the Paul 83 or 85? 83. It's 83. <laughs> Paul, Paul 1983. Yeah, going to go down a year? Yeah. OK, Paul 1983, is that Bono's password? It is. Oh. Well played. That's nicely done. Very, very good indeed. Paul 1983 points to you, gentlemen. Joanne and Michelle. So you've got to guess Marcus Rashford's password. You've got these two hints. Which order of chivalry were you awarded in the Queen's Birthday Honours list for 2020? And how old were you when you made your professional debut for Manchester United? OK. I think 17 is a good start for the age. Maybe she's... OK, should we say 17? Yeah. I've got a feeling it was an, an MBE, but maybe the CBEs. Should we go for MBE? MBE 17? MBE 17? OK, MBE 17. Is that Marcus Rashford's password? It is no. not, but you have one part correct. Ooh. OK, I think then maybe you've got the CBE. Or maybe we say, oh, I don't know. Let's try CBE. She might as well try CBE 17 and see what happens. Yeah, you've got three goes. Yeah. CBE 17? Yeah. Mm. OK, let's take a look. Is CBE 17 Marcus Rashford's password? Oh, no. Uh, you have neither part correct, which is good news, because <sighs> you know now that MBE is correct. Let's go for our last MBE 18. Let's try it. Yeah. MBE 18, what do you think at home? Agree, disagree, MBE 18, is that Marcus Rashford's password? It is! Yeah! Well played! Ah! Nicely done. Using all three ah! guesses very well there. Nicely played, that's the end of that round. A very successful round. Joanne and Reg, if you could swap back places, please. Nice job.
Well played, everybody. Our last pairs game of the week. Ah. And let us take a little look at what it has done to our scoreboard. We only have three rounds to go before we give away the trophy. Here's how we look at the moment. It's very, very close. Look at this. Michelle, you have two. Oh. Reg and Joanne, you've got three points each. Bill, out on the lead before. There's two points in it between everybody. Two points in it, three rounds to go. Anybody's game on Friday's House of Games. Our next round is... Two clues in one. Fingers on buzzers, everybody, please. Your first category is... Stage musicals. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some clues which describe some stage musicals. However, they're multi-purpose clues, because as well as describing the musicals, they have the same initials as the answer. OK? So, which stage musical is this, please? Time walk routine highlighting suspenders. <laughs> Michelle. The Rocky Horror Show. Absolutely right. Well done. Well done. Well done. I'll play Michelle. Which stage musical is this, please? Witches. Oh. Yes, Bill. Wicked. Wicked. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Next stage musical. Jacob awards treasured adolescent tremendous drapery. Yes, Bill. Joseph and his amazing Technicolor dream coat. I'm not going to give it to you because you got the initials slightly wrong, I'm afraid. Yes, Michelle. Joseph and the amazing Technicolor dream coat. Is absolutely yeah, well right. Done. Well done. Normally I'd take it, but because it's the initials, uh, I, can't, I can't go with wrong initials. Next category, Beatles songs. Which Beatles songs are these, please? They've got the same initials as their clues. Typical train requirement. Joanne. Ticket to ride. Ticket to ride. Well played. Yeah. Next one. Identifies as tusked wildlife. Michelle. I am the walrus. I am the walrus. Nice. Well played, Michelle Collins. Nice. Next Beatles song. Cash brings mediocre liaisons. Yes, Bill. Can't buy me love. <laughs> Can't buy me love. They're good clues, aren't they? They're nicely done by the question writers. Next category. Reality TV shows. Which shows are these? Chris's universally watched Troublesome Kids. Yes, Joanne. Keeping up with the Kardashians. Keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> Absolutely. Final question in this round. Many annulments follow, surely. Oh, um... Yes, Reg. Um, um, uh, Housewives of Beverly Hills. It is not, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Joanne. Married at first sight. Married at first sight. Oh, didn't know that. Nicely done. <laughs> Let's take a look at our scores. Three rounds down. Uh, it's lovely and close again. It was so close yesterday. We had a three-way tie yesterday. And today, we are not far off that again. Reg, you have three. Michelle, you got five. Six points each. Bill and Joanne. <laughs> How about it again? This is all very exciting. Two rounds to go. Two rounds away from giving away our trophy right here. Fourth round today is... But what's the question? In this round, I'm going to give you the answers immediately. There are four answers in this round, and those answers are... <laughs> Pamela, <laughs> toilet rolls on fire, Arabicus pulp, and 51. Those are our answers. Reg, could you choose an answer, please, for Joanne? Pamela. Pamela. <laughs> Joanne, your answer is Pamela, but what is your question? It is one of these three. What is the only woman's name that appears in the lyrics of both Lou Bega's Mambo No. 5 and the Beautiful South song for whoever? That's a good question. Is it which town in Massachusetts is known as the birthplace of the American Industrial Revolution? Or what was the title of the 1740 work by Samuel Richardson, widely regarded as the first true English novel? So one of those is answered by Pamela. I think it's the first one. I'm, I'm thinking of both of those songs, it feels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, 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 I don't know if it's the only woman's name that appears in both of them. Joanne, your answer is Pamela. Is that your question? <gasps> it's not. Apparently, it's not in Song for Whoever. It's, it's the wrong song. It says Philippa Sue. Oh, is it Philippa Sue? Not Pamela Sue. Ah, oh, 
So what is the correct answer? The title of the novel, Samuel oh. Richardson novel. Pamela, there you go. It was very specific. And the town in Massachusetts, which is the birthplace of the American Industrial Revolution, is Beverly. Beverly. Ah. Um, Michelle, could you choose an answer for Bill, please? Toilet rolls on fire. I mean, it's tempting, isn't it? <laughs> it is tempting. Bill, your answer is toilet rolls on fire. Yeah. But what is your question? <laughs> Susan Phillips' installation that won the 2010 Turner Prize mainly consisted of what? What are sometimes used to help pilots in Australia's Royal Flying Doctor Service to land in remote locations at night? Or as part of a 2016 study, what helped scientists at the Technion Israel Institute of Technology to confirm Stephen Hawking's prediction that black holes could evaporate? I mean, one, one of those is right. I, I'm going to discount the, the, the Australian flying doctor service thing, because toilet rolls, they wouldn't be visible from a great height. Susan Phillips' installation, I don't remember. 2016 study. I'm going to go with the Stephen Hawking prediction. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. The black et cetera, holes. et cetera. What do you um, think at home? You agree with Bill on this one? Disagree? So your answer is toilet rolls on fire. Is that your question? It's not. Ooh, oh. I think I would have gone with that because only because I didn't trust the other two. Yeah. What is the correct First question? Oh. oh, it is the flying really? doctor. Oh. Amazing. These are Yeah, hard. if flares are unavailable, they use toilet rolls to, to make a landing strip. OK. Bill, could you choose an answer for Michelle, please? 51. 51. Are you going to get the first point of this round? So your answer is 51. How many cities are there in the UK? In grams, what is the weight of a gold medal awarded at the London 2012 Olympics? Or what is the average age of MPs who were elected at the 2019 general election? Hmm. This feels like a classic 33% chance. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think it's the last one because I think MPs are, on average, much younger than that now, aren't they? Maybe I might go for the first one. Yeah, going to go for the cities. So your answer is 51. Is that your question? Oh. not. Second one, 69 I 69 cities there are. Let's take a look. What was the correct answer? Average oh, age really? of MPs. Wow. Average age of MPs. Gold medal is 412 grams. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> That's Whoa. Heavy. It's a lot. Wait a minute. What a burden. <laughs> um, what talking a of burdens, Arabicus pulp is your answer, Reg. But what's your question, I wonder? Hmm, what mystery? What mystery awaits? Who is the editor of the Eaton Swill Gazette in Dickens' The Pickwick Papers? What was the original name of Jarvis Cocker's band, Pulp? Or what word denotes the skin of coffee beans that falls off during roasting? Ooh. Those are good again, aren't they? Questions. They could all be good right. Good questions. Yeah, I'm going to go to the second one. You're going to go to the second one, Reg? Yeah. You reckon that pulp were originally called Arabicus pulp? Yep. Uh, agree at home? Disagree with Reg? Let's take a look, shall we? Your answer is Arabicus pulp. Was that the original name of pulp? It was, well Reg. Done. Well done. Well done. Inspired by the Arabica coffee bean. Beautifully played, Reg. What a lovely end to that round. The only correct answer in it. We only have one round to play. <gasps> Ooh. No. In this week's... Uh, we do, Michelle. I'm sorry <laughs> to break that to you. Ooh. Um, how are we looking going into that round? Well, I'll tell you now, there are two points between the lot of you. Two what? points between all of you. <gasps> Reg has got four. Michelle has got five. Bill and Joanne, six <gasps> points each. Anybody's, Anybody's game on Friday. Game. Anybody's game. Shall we play our last round? Yes. We know what it is. It is, of course... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers for one last time. Point for a correct answer for one last time. Point off for an incorrect answer for one last time. Two points between the lot of you. Anybody could win today, Bill and Joanne. Either of you could still win that trophy. OK. I wish you all the very, very <laughs> best of luck. Your first category is... Famous Australians. So Australians is your first category. Those will be the pictures. The clues will be above. Which act had a 1981 UK number one single with Tainted Love? Reg. Kylie Minogue. No. 
Reg, as always, your contributions in uh, Answer Smash have greatly valued. Uh, it is incorrect, I'm afraid. You lose a point. Oh, what um, Shall I tell you? It is Soft Cell McPherson. It's McPherson, isn't it? Soft Cell uh, and Elle uh, McPherson. That's it. Next famous Australian. Who played the title character in the TV series Lovejoy? Yes, Reg. Ian McShane. And the person in the picture? I think you might have given a clue to the others. Ray. Or so. time you out, Reg. <laughs> Bill. Uh, Ian McShane Warren. Ian McShane Warren is the right answer. Ian McShane and Shane Warren. Thank you, my man. <laughs> Next category is beans. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above. Which 1984 action film features the character Mr. Miyagi? Yes, Reg. Uh, the Karate Kid um, and Beans. You're giving a lot of points away here, Reg. <laughs> uh, we'll time you out. <laughs> yes, Joanne. Karate Kidney Beans. Karate Kidney Beans? Absolutely. Yeah. The oh, man. Beans. Well done. <laughs> Nicely done. You're, you're so nearly getting these right. He's really helping. <laughs> He's yeah. really helping. Next clue and next beans. Which Rolling Stones song featuring Brian Jones on sitar topped the UK singles chart in 1966? Bill. Paint it black eyed beans. Paint it black eyed beans. Paint it black eyed beans. Well played, Bill. Here's your next clue and your next beans. Which best-selling novel by Khaled Hosseini depicts a childhood in Afghanistan? Yes, Bill. The Kite Runner yes. Beans. The Kite Runner Beans. Well played, Bill. Nicely done. Next category. Brilliant. Whoa. Oh. He, he finishes as he began, full of beans. Well done, Bill. It's I very, very close to leading into that. Reg threw away any number of points <laughs> at the beginning. I, I, I think Aww. I went out very heroic. You really did. You <laughs> really did. Won, that's a smash. First things first, let's find out who won Friday's House of Games. It is a fourth win for Bill Turnbull by two Yay! points. Well done, Bill. And um, Bill, you choose yourself another prize. Which of these would you like? I'd like to uh, donate the cologne to Reg. Oh, oh. beautiful. <laughs> Bill Turnbull gives the House of Games cologne <laughs> to Reg. Look out, Glasgow. <laughs> Here we come. But we have the small matter of the trophy as well. <sighs> OK, it's been such a fun week. Thank you all very much. There's been an awful lot of laughs, uh, but there can only be one champion. And the champion of this week's House of Games, of course, is Mr Bill Turnbull. Yay! Well played, Bill. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you. Bill. Very well done. Reg, congratulations. Thank you so much for playing. Thanks Michelle, for me, congratulations. Man. Thank you so much. Joanne, congratulations. And you won a day as well. Well done for that. And Bill, congratulations. Our champion on Yay! House of Games. Well done, Bill. Thank you so much. I enjoyed that immensely. Hope you enjoyed it as well. We'll see you again on the House of Games. I just say, in all my 60 plus years, this is the biggest trophy I've ever won. Wow. Ever. I've never won anything Aww. remotely this size before. I thought you were going to say the nicest people I've ever worked with. <laughs> well, I, I was I about to till I was I... interrupted. <laughs> oh, you...